Hey everybody, I have got a technique that I don't know if a lot of people know about. Most electricians, plumbers, we do know about this, but not with this kind of pipe. So boys are out here digging some trenches and they're learning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this big 300 foot coil of PEX, which I don't care what most well people or plumbers tell you, man, don't bury this stuff straight in the ground. If you got any rock or gravel, sharp stuff in your ground whatsoever okay don't do it um it will chafe and cut this stuff but this old tried and true stuff here is called poly polybutyl see it right there inch and a half crest line now this is just 100 psi it's not even um i don't know i wouldn't put more than 40 in it to be honest with you but it's a very tough in the ground no matter what the subject strata is in the ground so what i've got here is a shop vac and i've taken the bag out so i don't want no restrictions at all and it's just basically pulling air i've got a roll of 300 foot of one inch packs and a one and a half inch and you're going to say well that's one and a half that's one inch. well this is one and three sixteenths almost one and almost one and a what uh quarter uh od and trying to get it down a hundred foot of inch and a half way down in there that's uh that's not easy especially if you're trying to push it so we're going to solve that and let me show you how i've made an adapter that goes inside on the end of my vacuum that fits this pipe nice and snug and i'll push it down in there and it's a nice snug adapter and then i will kick on the vacuum and let's go to the other end of this pulling vacuum straight on through all right, 100 foot of hose later. Listen, there's your vacuum. Now, what I've got is I've got this, and I'll put a link to this kind of rope below the video if you want to know what kind to use. It is a poly rope. It's basically PVC, but it's made the same material as this stuff is. And you've seen this everywhere, but there are certain types you want to use. It's got to be pretty slick. And then I'm going to tie a little cloth on the end that is going to be about the size of our pipe here. Now I want you to look at that. And off she goes. And goes. And goes. So I'm going to work this down. And off it goes up into the pipe. The vacuum will retrieve this all the way to the other end. Hard to thread it through otherwise, but if you just pull that up, it'll go through. Now, when it comes out the other end, we tie that by drilling a hole in your PEX pipe, threading it through, and then you have one person pull on this end while the other person pushes your pipe or your wire or whatever you want to go through on the other end. All right, so let's get this through and I'll show you that. Okay, now we're over here. Daniel is over there and he's gonna feed it in and then you're gonna hear a noise that whenever it hits that noise you'll hear it in the vacuum that means that that rag has made it to your vacuum start hearing it bogged down all right so now we have the other end and you have now fished through your rope so that you can make your fitting and pull your pipe through or wire or whatever it is you want okay not too bad and instead of using a fish tape use this system and you can even have your pipe buried in the ground just make sure your pipe isn't crushed or out of shape or out of round when you try to do it but if you put in solar or wind power and you want to bury power lines poly pipes all you need there's hardly a code in the world that tells you the DC wiring has to be in some expensive, um, you know, I do a lot of this and I use this for AC wiring, but you don't have to pay for that kind of pipe, conduit, sunlight conduit, whatever. You don't have to pay for that. This roll, whole roll, a hundred foot of inch and a half was only about $65 and it's one piece and it's just literally bulletproof stuff. Put your DC wire in that or gas lines or whatever you want to pull through it you can pull through it using that system all right. all right now that we've got it through 
The next step is to just cut this off with a utility knife. And as you can see, what I did here is I drilled a hole straight through. We'll just trim that off when we get it in where we want it. And you guys that see my videos, I want to show you something. This is one of those Bisway batteries. Now, I've had, I put a video up, I don't know, a few years ago, three years ago, and about these batteries. I've bought 25 different named batteries. I abused the hell out of this drill. Look at it. Look at the condition of it. I even tore up the plastic front end of it. And it has a pair of these. And look at that, 11 of 19. These ain't even come close to dying. I've got factory batteries that won't even live like this. So if y'all see this, I'll put the link to that video right up there that talks about this company. And like I said, it, who knows? They could be no different than anybody else, but I have never had a single one of these bizways fail. Now, that's my luck. So cutting this we're going to put it on here and then i'm going to feed it in we're going to get this pipe through this 100 foot section so um, after we get it through we'll cut off the excess and we'll kind of backtrack it to the little short piece we need on the other end but there you go kind of nice easy way to do this and it pulls nice real nice look at daniel over there with the pick putting the fence down in the ground right daniel he don't want his damn vegetables getting chewed up by the neighborhood's uh, four-foot-tall mice. Or is that his kid? I don't know. All right, so let me get this hooked up, and I'll show you. Okay, now you can see how I did the rope on that. I just used some electrical tape. You see that? And I just did a double knot. Now, these will get a little tighter as there's pressure pulled against them. And this will go sliding nicely inside of that pipe. It's not a problem. And as soon as I can get uh, somebody pull the other side, you see how to go in there? And no problem going in. Um, but you pull it through, one person on this end feeding, the other person on the other end pulling the rope, taking up the tension so that the pipe doesn't have the opportunity to use its own friction to stop its travel. So normally you could take something like this and just shove it through. But when you're talking 100 feet... Or even hell, if you're talking over 40 feet, once you get about 40 feet, you've probably had this experience. You just can't push it through anymore. So that's actually the wall friction of the pipe bucking against the wall that'll stop you. Having that relieved where it won't buck up will pull through so fast, it'll save you days of effort. All right, let's get on there and we'll pull it out. Okay, now you'll see that it came out the other end. There is the tubes and here is the leftover string or whatever rope that we use quarter inch poly rope and you see how it got connected right there it was fairly easy to do i lost a little section of that video showing it being pulled but it went really fast and i'm sure you guys have seen enough that y'all know how to do this now and there is the uh three quarter inch line and the one inch line the three quarter is for the rain flow back from our tanks behind the building to go to a tank over here that'll be inside and then the one inch is for the filtered complete water that comes out and it comes from both our well and any recovery water that we get. All right, y'all be good. Y'all can do it. It's easier than you think.